It did not strike me as strange to find a devotion to the sun god among ancient peoples. And I understood that while some worshiped this heavenly object because it gave life to the earth and to nature, others recognized in that majestic body a symbol of a greater reality. There were those who went still further and received innumerable gifts from this center, gifts that at times descended as tongues of fire over the inspired ones, at times arrived as luminous spheres, and at times appeared as burning bushes before the fearful believers. These conclusions led me to recognize in the prayers of ancient peoples the seed of a great truth, a truth later obscured by external rites and practices, making it impossible for them to develop that internal work which realized with perfection, puts human beings in contact with their luminous source. Finally, I observed that my discoveries were not discoveries at all, but arose from the inner revelation at which all arrive who, without contradictions, search for the light in their own hearts.